Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Lady Will, and I'm back with another video. This time, we're going about maybe 10 minutes down the road. Uh, we're going to meet Everyday Faye and her husband, Landshot Chronicles. They decided to bless us with their presence and drive all the way down from outside of Atlanta to come chill with me and the hubs. So I'm going to go over here and meet up um, at Twin Peaks in Columbus. And, yeah, y'all lay around for it. It's your girl, Lady Will. You ready? YouTube fan we are on our way I decided to let y'all hear how the motorcycles actually sound typically we ride with the music up so when I edit the videos I have to um, edit it where we are riding in silence this old copyright thing that we got going on or YouTube or whomever I remember back in the day it was none of this was a thing but now everywhere you go you got to be mindful of copyrights so we're on our way to get gas. Our rule of thumb is if we're going in and around the miles or in and around town, um, we typically don't get gas because we can get it at any time. But if we we don't know how long we're going to be riding or if we're going on a long trip starting off, then we go ahead and get a full tank. That way we can enjoy the ride as much as possible without stopping. Now, for some reason, every time I pull into this gas station, I always overshoot the pumps. I don't know what it is. I think mainly I'm probably going in too fast, so I don't have time to correct um, myself as I get into the pump. But I also think it's a mental thing because this is the very this is the gas station where I dropped my bike the very first time. So I think that's what it is. I'm always thinking about right there where that car, that white car is, is why I actually dropped my bike. Um, for a while, I didn't even come to this gas station. I just uh, rode like five miles to the level gas station and got gas there. So the fact that I'm feeling comfortable enough to come back to this gas station, I guess those are my baby steps. So I take that and I continue to practice. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, where y'all at? About five minutes out, we're putting gas in here. Okay. I just shared my location with you. Okay. All right. Right All right. It's time to go. The tanks are filled. Every day Faye called and checked in on us. We were actually waiting on my brother-in-law, but um, he was delayed a little bit. But he will catch up with us um, at the light. Actually, you will see him. I slowed the video down, and then he did a U-turn and caught us at, at the light. Um, I was getting all excited because it's nothing like seeing groups of people doing the same thing you are doing especially women i was so excited in my kevin hart voice <laughs> i couldn't wait to meet her and Landshark chronicles and it's just i don't know i was really ready i was really excited um this wasn't the first 
group of people that we met um we went on a short ride i think with one of my husband's friend he was in one he's in one of the clubs here at, in columbus and him and i think two other people and someone from his his work or his from his job uh, we all did a little short quick ride but that was really early on in our riding when we was we just barely got the bikes and we rode maybe about i say about 10 miles 12 miles um and i definitely wasn't nowhere um feeling comfortable as i am now so we did ride that group ride with that but i can't say that i enjoyed it because i was panicking and i wasn't comfortable it was just new everything was fresh but it was an experience so um I take that it's one to reflect on because it was definitely different, a different ride that first time um, than it was this time that we're going to meet everyday Faye. Okay. Yeah. So like I said, this wasn't our um, first time meeting um, people from the motorcycle world. Our actual very first time meeting um, someone from the motorcycle world was when we did our private lessons with Robert Simmons. Uh, And at that point, that session put a lot of things into perspective for me as i mentioned uh, i think in my startup video so he was the first person and then i believe the second person we came in contact with was official mac when we went down to miami to get our um work done to our bikes when we got our stage two well i got stage two and my husband got stage three and we basically took our bikes to Miami and I'm from originally from Miami, but I haven't been home in many years. So I didn't know any of the connects or anything, um, at that point. Um, but, um, watching the official Mac Max page, he then, you know, kind of put us on to George, the, uh, mechanic and George, the music guy where we got our work done and, um, our music installed. So there's a whole video, on that uh how it went and our first reactions or whatever and as i get youtube savvy and i decided to make a video about it because i did take a little bit of footage of us dropping the bikes off and once i get youtube savvy and all that with um, max permission i will see how i would integrate some of the video some of his video into our video but yeah so we had we we had met met a few people um in the youtube world um, before now and then everyday Faye and Landshark Chronicles will be our newest edition but I must say that I kind of felt the closest with everyday Faye because it's like I don't know it's just something it was it was just instant like yeah hey, okay all right girl let's go let's do this let's do this let's ride so I was appreciative of the vibes you know sometimes you meet people regardless of where um the where you at or the profession or the hobbies you take up and it's just the vibes be all wrong but i can honestly say that um everyday faye and her husband are good people okay so we're about to get on expressway and head to twin peaks i think it's about maybe five maybe seven miles um from there from where we at but i would like to take a minute and just encourage someone today that that's someone that has been considering picking up riding motorcycles but for whatever reason they're talking themselves out of it or they're scared for whatever reason and i just want to say listen you only fear what you don't know i did and once you learn then there's no need to fear once you practice and develop your technique there's no need to fear Well, I take that back. 90% of the fear. You still have some fear there because it's just the nature of the beast of what you're doing. But that's what any other thing. When you ride in your car, there's a chance anything could go wrong in that. When you walk across the street, there's a chance anything can go wrong with that. When you get on that plane, there's a chance anything can happen. So why would you allow that fear to stop you from doing something that this is totally... I can't even describe the feeling I get when I be on this motorcycle. So just take that chance. And at the very least, go take the course. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. But if you do like it, allow yourself to live and be free. Girl, go get that bike. 
girl, go get them license or a young man. But I'm talking in particular to my sisters. Ladies, go do your thing now. Let's get out here and ride. I'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of you. Anyone that I can meet, I'm looking forward to it. Play me like I'm I hope I don't get copyrighted for it, but who cares? Y'all see what I mean? Every day fate is a whole vibe. We was vibing. First time pulling up, meeting each other, and we vibing. All right. So now it's time to pull into this doggone parking space. Um, the first thing I was trying to do was find neutral. And we all know that, Lord knows, I don't know what's up with neutral on these bikes. But I guess there's a trick to it. I'll find it one of these days. Um, but typically I don't have a problem with backing the bike because it's been lowered. Where I usually run into issues is when there's an incline. So it didn't look like an incline at first, but as I pulled the bike forward, and got a little bit of momentum and had to adjust. Um, I needed help being uh, help getting into the parking spot. So I guess I'm going to add the parking lot chronicles to the list of the gas stop or the gas station chronicles as needing to practice. Hey, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right eventually. So, all right. Well, at this point, like I said, I'm trying to back in. On the left is Landshark Chronicles. He's over there talking to my husband. And I'm up here like, hey, help me. Help me. <laughs> yeah, but eventually my husband came around and pushed me into the back in into the parking space. What's going on? What's going on with you? I said y'all came up here banging like that. Hey, we tried to do a little something. I know. Y'all made me want to get my music ASAP. <laughs> ASAP. Trust me. Because I watched the um, video when y'all got it. I was like, yeah, man. I went down to Florida, man. That was crazy. Hello, hello. How you doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then while we still over here, give y'all one of my stickers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stickers. Okay. Let me get one now. Put that on sticker right there. Put that in there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so then we got a few people, like some few roll with us, another mm -hmm. couple. Uh, What's that here? Some people I showed up randomly. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. my brother in law somewhere. Yeah, we gotta yeah. go eat. Yeah, because there was a bunch of bikes on the other side, too. Let me go ask some of them. Y'all got coming three. Where's Sean go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, all right, y'all. We made it down here at the Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, Twin Peaks, happy hour. Trying to figure out how to get this in the view, but this where we at. Over here. They showed up for us. Um, Everyday Fay and Landshark Chronicles bought the city out for a little of us. We appreciate it, appreciate it. Hey, appreciate it, appreciate it. Okay, so this is where things got interesting. While we were eating, we all decided that we're going to go on a little short ride. But some people need a gas. So I was like, yeah, we can ride up to this gas station. This is where we at now. And then they was like, well, yeah, just go ahead and, and lead the way. And I'm like, say, well, now, you want me to lead a group of y'all somewhere? Lord, y'all know I just started riding, right? They was like, yeah, just go ahead. So here I am leading this unexpected 
group ride. Man, when I tell you my nerves was shot at first, but I had to remember and remind myself, hey, just ride your ride. Everybody else going to ride their ride, whether you first, second, last, just ride your ride and be comfortable doing it. We took a real simple route um, from the gas station. I thought that route would be perfect since we had people coming from Birmingham and everyday Faye, her husband, and the group that came with her would need to go back um, outside of Atlanta. Taking 80 to 280, it goes all the way into Opelika. And at that point, whoever coming from Birmingham could go south and everyday Faye and her husband, her group, could go north. So to me, that was the... That was the the perfect route. And then my husband and and, uh, my brother-in-law would turn back around and go back the 20 miles um, east from where we was located at. Um, Well, here we go. Nothing left to talk about. Hope you you guys enjoy the video of my first group ride as I did um, riding it. And yeah. I must say, I the feeling was exhilarating. I felt so empowered that just so unexpectedly and random, here I am this day thinking I'm just going to meet with Everyday Faye and her husband to lead a whole group ride. I believe it was like 12, 13 motorcycles that day. So once again, I wished I didn't have the music up because I wanted you all to hear all the sounds of the different motorcycles, but I love music. So I got to be mindful of, um, when I'm recording to leave some space in there where there's no music playing. So we can put a little bit of it in the video. All right, y'all y'all enjoy.
Thank you.